Greetings, Jedi Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for week 38, day 3, September 21st, 2016. FOMC announcement. As always, please seek financial advice when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only. To support your knowledge in the market, see what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. All right, talk about two monetary policy announcements. That's right, it was all about the Bank of Japan and the FOMC. And there we go, unchanged rates and FOMC, no rate hike, unchanged. And that's where we sat, giving us a nice move. Why was the market going to sell off? Hey, maybe a little bit of algo action to the downside, but there it was. NQ all the way up for a nice move at the end of the day, 170 ticks. All the way upside. ES uh, grabbing a little bit, scalps here and there, and uh, finally a nice little runner there at the end for a total 529. So, all about FOMC. That's right. There was the Bank of Japan last night, overnight session and pre market. Going to the higher time frame gives you the cleaner entry. 50 below 144s, nice setups, five charts in the red, and then early market here, back upside above the 50, 144, Heikinashi Oku Cloud. I don't have a name for it. Anyway, it's the 50, 144, Heiken Oku Cloud, just like Ichiboku. Uh, but anyway, holding upside there, nice move on the yen to the upside. And before we got even the U.S. indices rolling, taking a look at Natty Gas to the downside. Nice move, sell signal downside, five charts in the red underneath the 50, 144, underneath the T350. Take your entry downside, very clean. And it was platinum to the upside. Metal's getting a nice run. We'll take a look at the big chart for today. Highlights of today's session, pre-FOMC. On the downside, ES plus the upside, thinking a look, five charts in the green, Price action, just looking for the scalp today, right to the T. It was a nice move, didn't change the setup. Price action back to the downside, got off almost all five charts in the red. Sell signal downside, take a contract off, and then uh, price action back upside and out. And that was our pre FOMC on the ES. NQ also, nice move to the upside, just looking for the scalp entry, 11 ticks, and that's where my trade management is set. Price action moves back to the downside, a little bit. Uh, Easier to run on here as sell signal downside. Price action uh, first contract off at the 25 minute open range low, stop to break even and all the way down to the FIB projection level front run it. Price action actually ran a little bit more, but that's okay, just getting a little bit of piece of the pie. Once FOMC comes out, move those charts to a higher time frame and you got yourselves a nice clean setup. There was the ES not being able to get every single setup. But buy signal put you in again. I was on a higher time frame, so being able to avoid a lot of that chop uh, went to a 10.7. But I uh, wanted to show you this on a 5.4 as the last setup here, all the way up to the upside and exit here on the 3.2 price action still held above the 51.44. So nice move on the S yes. again. Was holding on the higher time frame until price action slowed down in that last hour. Uh, again, I was not watching a, a 5.4 here. I probably would have never gotten in at this point uh, on a 5.4, but I was watching a 10.7, which was a much cleaner entry. Take a look at the NQ here. Price action again, nice move after a lot of chop after the FOMC. Again, a little bit of price action pulling back, but pretty much held upside. Break above the cloud, break above the T350, holding upside to... That's right, to the Globex high, price action came back down. Again, I was also on a higher time frame here. You're looking at a 10.7, was sitting on a 20 tick chart. Price action slowed down, price action pulled back again. Majority of bigger charts were in the green. I didn't see real price action coming back down. Wasn't looking even for the scalp, was looking to go back long, and there it came. Right back upside, 50 above 144, took the entry on the 20 tick, and then managed it all the way up to the end on the 10 tick. So really nice move up there on the NQ. And why did I exit that NQ? Well, another little market internal you guys can use. If you're looking for volume in the market, there was the line today. Again, an average line over the past 10 days. Price action stalling there and decide what the heck. It's the end of the session. Got a nice run and simply bail on that first indecision candle. So pretty, uh, pretty good trade there. 
which gave us those numbers. All right, let's jump into the charts as we saw that AD line today with that FOMC announcement. Finally, price action lifting uh, another market internal to keep you in the green. So if the charts are in the green, the AD line's in the green, you got yourself a nice mover. Only if you can hold your stop where it is. All right, take a look at the FIB levels. We did pretty good. We hit both directions, downside, and then bang to the upside. Nice target, nice run from the midnight open down here. And the target low all the way upside and plus some. Take a look at the daily gaps. Again, indices all across the board, sitting in all-time highs here on the NQ again. ES back upside after a couple of days, I'd say almost a week of inside session of the two big bars from last Friday and Monday. Finally getting a lift here, YM, and forming a new gap here on today's session on the crude. Let's jump into the charts here as we saw price action lift today and taking a look at the crude. Let's open up the charts here. Again, crude not getting as much of a lift. Uh, looking again for the highest probable entries above the cloud, 51.44 and T350. There's your entry, 10.30. Again, a little bit earlier had the price action from yesterday, but pretty quiet as we head into the EIA report today. Price action again came back a little bit. You might have gotten a scalp entry, but for the remainder of the session, uh, price action, once it got above the T350, uh, which is the white dotted line here together with the slope, and then the 5144, there was your best possible entry to the upside on five charts in the green. Nice move. Take a look at gold. Gold again reacting today's market. You can see a lot of the uh, quick action here on gold. So you would go to a higher time frame like we did on the indices. But there it was overnight session. Gold, a very nice move together with that yen uh, price action to the upside holding above the cloud. Again, you go to that higher time frame. And then towards the end of the session, there it was. Price action buy signal upside had a little bit more time control on that move. So nice, very nice setup to the upside. ZN, not much to talk about on the bonds. Again, getting chopped up in that minute section with that FOMC. YM, there it was today. Price action to the upside on the breakout. Did not play the YM today, but buy signal upside, pull back and back upside. There was the key move after almost post one hour of FOMC announcement. A lot of chop here in the midsection. Take a look at NQ as we just did on the charts. Again, FOMC, a lot of chop there in the mid range. Uh, nice move to the downside. Got a piece of that at the uh, pre-European session uh, close. And then once price action lifted here again, you go to the higher time frame, smaller time frame. So let's take a look at what that higher time frame entry would have been like. On the, there you go. So you eliminate a lot of that noise there. Buy signal. Entry above the T350, there you go to the Globex high, nice move, 25-minute open range, and then pulls back. So that's what I'm talking about, getting rid of that noise. And then if you sit on the 20 tick, I sat on the 10 tick, but there you go. Buy signal back upside, and that's all it took. Hiking Ashi bars to the upside, 50 above 144. There it is, as simple as that. That's talking about patience and waiting for that setup. That's the key. All right, take a look at the ES, yes, same picture that we just had. Told you I was looking at the uh, 5.4, but as soon as FOMC, same picture that I had there on the NQ. Let's open that up a little bit. There you go. Looks a lot cleaner. Buy signal upside. There it is. It was to the Globex high. Exited before that. Price action came back down. Didn't look for any short entries. And then back upside. Buy signal. Clears the Globex high. 25 minute open range. And bang to the upside. What a move towards the afternoon session. All right, taking a look at some of the other highlights. Uh, let's take a look at uh, EMD again. Uh, Mid-cap 400, not bad movement. Again, you would have gone to a higher time frame, uh, but price action ended up being uptrend. Again, euro downside overnight to the move. Uh, again, uh, price action in the midsection here as uh, the, the uh, time frames came out. 10.7, you might have gone to a 15 tick or even a 20 tick to get a move. But again, very, uh, very choppy here. But buy signal upside sell signal uh, to the downside on almost five charts of the red underneath the t350 so not a bad setup but not a lot of movement as much as the u.s indices again we talked about the yen getting its lift pretty much chopped out the remainder of the session and it was the natty gas natty gas with a nice move down this morning sell signal downside underneath the cloud here underneath the ranges with five charts in the red all right, take a look ahead as we roll into tomorrow's. We have, we're holding nice volume, obviously, today in the market. Price action holding above the 50 on the NQ, still in the gap on the YM and the S. So, momentum-wise, 
been going all along with the NQ to the upside. 50 above 144. Got the real good lift today. I don't see why these markets are going to retrace anytime soon other than a nice pull back to take some profits. Watch that YM tomorrow. Come up to the 144 overnight session. Might just follow through to the upside. But again, I'll look for the 50 to cross that 144. Probably going to take another bar, a couple bars. But as long as T3 moving averages, I got to still go with the downtrend because the 50 is below the 144. But I got to go with the stronger pullback to the upside. But I will be watching key moving averages as I do every day on the intraday. Uh, but I will look to the daily 50 for some resistance here as well as the ES up here at 2164.29. And then you throw in a daily gap up here at 2169 right there at 2177. So you got to watch for these daily gaps to possibly be closed out by Friday or next week. All right, so there's our uh, three indices as we look into some of the other markets. Uh, take a look at crude, crude back up above the 50. Uh, price action has been holding 50 below the 144, but we're getting a turnaround here, which is nice. Price action uh, to continue. Momentum still to the downside, but I like the strong momentum back to the upside as there was a draw on the crude this week. So it might just happen to lift crude back up. Looking for crude to get back up to some of those daily gaps. For instance, 48.56 would be a nice uh, move upside as I don't have but intraday moves, uh, intraday uh, moving averages uh, might just be the line that we're looking for but that's a, a big level that I'm looking for right now as long as uh, we hold above the t3 uh, 50 50 and 144 on a four-hour chart I gotta go with the trend that will remain upside until then so again a little re resistance down here on the t3 uh, uh, 10 uh, <coughs> excuse me um, T350 is in the middle here so as long as we hold above that t350 here uh, we should have a nice oh, Getting my moving averages messed up here. Here we go. Let's pull that out because it's still red here. So action still to the downside. So a little concern on crude as I'm taking a little extra time here. But uh, crude again, nice pullback, holding upside uh, based on today's data. Still a little catchy as we continue to chop. So right now momentum still to the downside but on a nice pullback. Until we get that 50 above that 144, then I will be in the green. Uh, gold, same picture here today. Again, finally FOMC coming out with some numbers. Uh, and so, uh, or with no numbers and unchanged. So we got election coming through. So market could uh, rally nicely uh, until that time, uh, until which time price action will might eventually pull back. But right now I got to go with gold resistance here at the 50. Still downside momentum. As soon as the 50 crosses the 144, I'll be more content to say we're in an uptrend. Same thing on the yen. Yen holding here to the still the gap, the 50, 144. Be ready in both directions here. I still have to go with the momentum on the yen to the downside, but I'll watch for the resistance at the 144. And then finishing up here on the EMD mid cap 400. Nice move back upside. If ES rolls, I see the mid cap rolling. There's the resistance right at the 144 you would have been watching for today. And I got to go with the momentum right now in a stall still on the 6E. I, 50 still above the 144. Break above this T350, and I'll go with the trend to the upside as it is holding above the 200 and the 50. And momentum here on the yen again. It's a tough call, and I keep saying this, guys. I apologize. This was the ZN, the bonds. Wrong chart. ZN to the downside here. It's the 6J back to the upside with the monetary policy unchanged. Good volume today, holding above the 50 after that uh, chop that we've been having for a while. Let's go ahead and open that up a little bit more. There you go. You can see that uh, price action holding up now above the 50. Four-hour chart back upside. Any pullback, we'll see some support here uh, downside. All right, so uh, that's where we're at. Uh, let's take a look at uh, economic data. I believe Draghi is supposed to uh, speak tomorrow uh, in the morning, European session. So watch for that. Jobless claims, Red Star event, existing home sales as we uh lead out the the week to pmi and then there we go we got those fed speakers coming out and starting to uh talk about uh their decisions so be ready in both directions every day we've been waiting for this for weeks and now we got it now we can uh, maybe have some good uh even better trending days than we have been uh lately which uh actually has been quite well all right that concludes an insight into today's daily trend feel free to stop by tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information my mantra of one simple strategy any market any chart any time frame will keep you disciplined you can find me every day on twitter at trading fibs and as always i leave the crystal ball to the experts i only trade what's in front of me and on my charts and as always 
leave your bias at the door when trading. Hey guys, if you're interested in joining us in the live trading room on Thursday and Fridays, please send me an email. David at tradingfibs.com will get you in. Check it out. You don't like it, that's okay. If you like it, you'll be invited to stay on a little bit longer. Hey guys, have yourselves a Blue Zone Day wherever you may be. Hey, it's fall. September 21st. Happy fall, Equinox. Good day, good night, and good trading to you.